Okay, uh, those of you who have been watching carefully would have noticed that I made a mistake in that earlier section. Uh, obviously, this should have been uh, 0.25, not 0.4. It's obviously, a quarter. Okay, so what I've done here is I've plotted exactly the same data as we saw before, but this time it's on our proportional scale. So it's, it's, it's on this proportional scale. And as you can see, that if I join up the points, this, this again for the black for the 800, and the green, the 400 condition, you can see the two graphs superimposed. They lie on top of each other. Okay? Now, they don't lie on top of each other exactly, but they don't deviate from each other systematically. That, that's the key test of superimposition. Okay? So if we were running this experiment, our test for superimposition would be to run an ANOVA on these two graphs, these two distributions. And if there's no significant difference, then we can conclude that they superimpose. Because they superimpose, that proves um, that we have the property, uh, the scalar property that we were looking for. As we increase the duration, we proportionally increase the amount of variability. Okay, uh, I hope that helped. Obviously, the drawings on the whiteboard aren't ideal. Um, but if you go back and look at your lecture notes, you'll see some um, better drawn graphs than what I've managed here. Um, and hopefully, if you go through that, the the, the concept will, uh, will stick in your mind. Okay, thank you.